Hey, what's going on? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineerandtrainingexam.com. And in this video, we're going to discuss lines. So what is a line? One example of a general class of equations that we call linear equation in two variables is the equation y is equal to 5x plus 1. The two variables are typically x and y, but don't necessarily always have to be x and y in linear equations. Linear equation or lines also adhere to four rules. Number one, the variables x and y are ra raised to the first only to the first power. So the variables x and y are to the first power. The second rule is that the variables may be multiplied only by real numbers. So the variables can be multiplied by only real numbers. The third rule is that any real number term may be added or subtracted. So any real number term can be added or subtracted. And finally number four Nothing else is permitted. Nothing else is permitted. So that is to say that if you're given an equation, and you see that that equation has x squared, if it has y squared, if it has 1 over x, east to the x, whatever, anything not to the first power, then it is not a linear equation. So if you see, look back at our example here, our general example, this is an equation where x and y is both to the first power. Uh, the variables are multiplied by real numbers. And there's a real number that is added in this case. So this equation adheres to all four rules. And we can call it a linear equation or a line. So what do we need to define a line? Well, we need two distinct pieces of information concerning that line to define it. So in other words, number one, if we are given two points, if we're given two points, x, x1 and y1, and x2 and y2, then we can define the equation to that line. Or if we are given one point, say x1, and y1 and the slope of the line then we can also define the equation of that given line. A line can be illustrated using three different forms. The first one is the standard form or also known as the point intercept form and this is the one that we are most uh, used to seeing probably and that is y is equal to mx plus b. So in this case we're given the slope and we're probably given the uh, intercept. And we can just go ahead and define that line. Simple. The second is the point slope form. And so say we're given the points x1 and y1 and we're also given the slope then we can go ahead and write it in the point slope form which is y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 so as you can see we have if we're given a point and the slope we have the point here we just plug in our information and we have the slope right there the third form is called the two point form so say we're given x1, y1, and we're given x2, 
y2. Um, if we're given two points, then we can go ahead and plug these points into the equation y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 multiplied by x minus x1. So these are the three forms of a straight line or linear equation. So let's look at a quick example here. Let's say that uh, we have a problem and we're given two points. Let's say that those points are negative 2, 1, and 1, and 2. Let's say that we want to find uh, or define this line given the two-point form. We know that the two-point form equation is y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 multiplied by x minus x1. So all we need to do is since we have both x1 and uh, y1 and x2 and y2, all we need to do is plug that information simply into the equation. We get y minus 1 is equal to y2 is 2, y1 is 1 divided by x2, 1, minus negative 2, multiplied by x minus x1, which is... So what we get is, as we uh, play this out, we get y minus 1 is equal to uh, 1 over 1 plus 2, which is 1 third, multiplied by x plus 2. Multiplying that through, we got uh, 1 third x plus uh, 2 thirds and plus 1 adding one to each side to get y by itself. Now just uh, combine all the terms and we got y is equal to one third x plus five thirds. So we used the point or the uh, two point form here to define the equation and we actually put that equation into the standard form. So that's it. Uh, pretty straightforward tutorial. Just wanted to review real quick uh, lines. So if you guys have any more questions or want to see any future tutorials, go ahead and uh, visit engineerintrainingexam.com. Uh, check out the videos that I got up there um, or contact me via the contact. Uh, ask any questions or get any free uh, study resources, study guidance, or whatnot. So look forward to talking to you guys soon. You guys take care. All right. Bye.